good day. Paul here. This is a Labor Day long weekend and we're spending it at Sandbanks Provincial Park. And I'd like to give you a tour of our site, which is site number 343. Site 343 is a non-powered site, usually uh, for tents, but it is good for our tent trailer as well. As you can see, there is a considerable slope here. So a regular trailer may have difficulty setting up here. Um, as you can see, with our trailer here, we had to really jack up the front. And we had to put up this one tire here on our, uh, on our stands. And uh, so the, you know, so, but we did get it level. It is possible. Um, once we got it up this hill, it's, it's less of a slope up here. Um, I don't know if I'd want to camp on this particular site with a tent because I don't think there's one piece of level ground anywhere on this site. Uh, but again, fine if you've got a tent trailer like us. And uh, the fire pit's here. Uh, the picnic table was down there across the front. We moved it back here. We think this is a more reasonable place to have our, our picnic table. So it makes for a really cozy campsite that's reasonably private. I mean, you can kind of see the adjoining site over there. Um, the washrooms are over there. Um, but you'd ha you wouldn't take this trail because that would cut through those that other person's campsite. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a really cozy site. Only parking for one. I mean, we could park a second vehicle here, but um, they forbid it. So secondary vehicles have to park somewhere else. And uh, that's our site. Okay, so we made it to the uh, park store on our bikes. And uh, we're going to get the two important things that we want here. Number one's a tin cup. Number two is a bumper sticker. Let's hope we find what we want. And uh, I think Nick wants an ice cream. So it's too late in the year, I guess, to get a bumper sticker or a tin cup. They're all sold out, so we have to settle for ice cream. This morning we're going to do the Cedar Sands Trail. It's a two kilometer trail that meanders through a forested section of the Baymouth Bar that separates the East Lake from Lake Ontario. It winds through rolling sand dunes created thousands of years ago and along the outlet river and marsh. Lookouts offer close-up close -up views of the marsh and the occasional glimpses at wildlife. Staircases, boardwalks and benches are provided en route. Visitors wishing to learn more about this unique area may purchase a trail guide. This trail is looped and hikers must retrace their steps to this entrance. Please stand the designated trail to reduce environmental impacts. Okay, let's go. Do some stair climbing. Yeah, a little bit. I guess these are stairs that are installed to protect the dunes. Yeah. Keeps us off the dunes so that they can, uh, they don't erode. Yeah. No flip flops on this trail. Sure. Well, this is kind of neat, eh? Yeah. Where do you want to keep walking? I'll grab a shot, sure. Sure shot. Should I stand on these? Sure. Or is that not? Why not? Then you'd be as tall as me. See? Mm -hmm. Look at this. Now we're the same height. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so there are red squirrels in these woods, so I'm going to let Nick do the honors of playing a red squirrel sound.
he's looking for where that sound came from. You know what? There's no bugs here, eh? There's like a boardwalk. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do a picture. In spite of this uh, swampy land here, we haven't been bitten by anything yet. Well, I thought that you. Did you? Yeah, Maybe. It's like a dune marsh, eh? Yeah. It's nice. It's hot though, you can feel the heat. Yeah. We should go back down soon. We will. the loon? It's a loon. Mm -hmm. You want to see my loon call? Mm -hmm. I'll show you. So what do you guys think of sandbanks? Yeah, there's definitely a lot to do here. I think a person could spend a week here and uh, yeah. not run out of things to do. That's why next year we're going to come here for at least another long weekend or a week, right? Yeah. Number seven looks like a lookout. Yeah, let's go have a look. Another cute little trail, right? Yeah. It is warm in here, though, eh? Photo here. Yeah, we should. So, this is part of the same uh, marsh that we were at before. This is pretty. I think we were down there. Yeah. Around that bend there before, and now we're up here. A dune marsh. And this trail is kind of named after our campsite, isn't it? Because it's right beside our campsite. That's right. Look what you found. Stairs. More stairs. This trail has a lot of stairs. Yeah. So people don't like stairs and they might not like this trail. This might not be the trail for no. people who 
don't have the best of knees or shoes. Or shoes. There's a big step. Steps are a little uneven too, eh, in places. Yeah, well, it's kind of like, I guess they sort of put them wherever they could. Yeah. yeah. This boardwalk is neat, eh? Yeah. Now, do you think they put it in to make it easier to walk, or do you think they put it in to uh, preserve the natural habitat? I think both, right? Or a little both, maybe? Yeah. 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 Yeah, it does feel a little old, doesn't it? It doesn't feel stable, eh? No. They're probably going to have to replace that one soon. Yeah, next year we're going to have to come here for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're here on the beach at Sandbanks Provincial Park. And uh, I'm going to take you outside so you can have a look at this glorious beach. It's a very popular spot today. I'm gonna go for a walk out into the water. You coming? You gonna stay there? Can you leave my glasses on? Yeah, I can leave them on. We're gonna go for a walk out into the water. It's very warm. And I don't know how clean it is, but warm and it's very shallow. We actually went down and then we're coming back up. Well, Sally's way back there. She's coming. You think it's cold? Sally's hot blooded. She doesn't like cold water. I think it's warm. See here, it's kind of far out from shore, but it's not, it's not even that deep. Like the waves? Yeah. It feels like it, yeah. Now it's getting up a little past my knees. And I still think the water feels fantastic. And then again, I'm more of a cold shower kind of guy. So now it's up to my uh, waist. Ooh, yeah. Up to my waist. <laughs> Actually, that is a little cold now. I'm in a colder part. And, uh, Sally's <laughs> getting herself climatized. You're getting yourself climatized. It's not bad. So here's the interesting thing about sandbanks, is that there's dunes under the water. So even though I'm closer to the beach than Sally, I got water up to my waist, and Sally over there, she just has it to her knees, because she's standing on a dune, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty busy place here on this uh, Labor Day weekend. As you can see, there's a lot of people here having fun. Okay, so we're going to check out the, uh, the sandbox kitchen. kitchen, maybe get some fries for lunch. Sounds good, hey guys? Let's go. So Nick and I decided to have the poutine and Sally's having the fries. Mmm, look at fries. that. So good. 
So poutini. Now, apparently, in Quebec, they call it Putin. But the Russian to me, that sounds like a Russian president. It doesn't sound like food. It? They call it Putin. Wow. But we're English. We call it poutine. We know what we know what Silanese are used for. You mean a Russian dictator? Yeah, <laughs> Russian president dictator. Okay, well this concludes our trip to um, Sandbanks Provincial Park and uh, my conclusion is this is a very good place to go camping. Uh, the showers are clean, the bathrooms are good and clean, not much of a wait at all even on this long weekend to get a shower and whatever. Um, so the amenities are really good, the water is good quality. And uh, the site, even though it was small and a little uneven, it was still a good site. It was very cozy and still reasonably private. I would give this a 4.5 out of 5. What about you guys? What do you think? Uh, 4.8. 4.8. Anywhere between 4.5 and 5. They could probably give it a 5. He liked this a lot. I mean, the beach is fantastic, eh, guys? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, lots of opportunities to ride a bike. Um, there were opportunities to go canoeing we found out we just didn't bring the canoe this weekend because we only had three Not days and we had visitors all weekend so that's it that's it we didn't get our bumper sticker this year but maybe next year see you next time